Hi, pet lovers. Thank you for joining Gina's Grooming Channel. I'm really excited to bring you guys a new format today, which is going to be a walkthrough of a grooming procedure. So really interested to see if this is something that you guys like. Uh, make sure to put that in the comments below. To everyone who has subscribed, we really want to say thank you. We appreciate you. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk about our subject today, which is going to be how to trim a pet poodle's tail. All right, so we've got Rosie as our supermodel today. Rosie is our standard poodle. She's a black standard poodle. She's just about to turn 11. And uh, we went ahead and grew out her tail really long so we can do this demonstration. Obviously, you can see she's got a very happy tail for you. Um, and uh, since we grew it out, we're going to go ahead and create it in an oval style shape or what you'll also sometimes hear is a bottle brush shape. But what that starts with is we're going to go ahead and first band the tail, right? And then scissor it into that shape. Okay, so lifting up, starting the band, I'm going to go ahead and band with a 10. Now in the show, you'll see people banding with a tighter blade, sometimes a 40 or even a 50. Um, so just be aware of that. Before with our pets, usually a number 10 um, works great. And what I'm going to go ahead and do is band right from the base of the tail, okay, about an inch and a half, so uh, maybe about four centimeters or so. And I'm first working on um, the line that is going to be where the tail fluff, the tail poof begins. Okay, and then we're going to go back and go ahead and uh, work on where that tail connects to the spine. But now we're going to go ahead and shave underneath. I already gave her a sanitary. Um, and again, we want to follow that same exact spacing of a line. Sometimes people put fingers um, where they're clippering to make sure that that line is really nice and straight. Um, if you're confident that you can go ahead and keep that in your kind of mind's eye, how high up you need to be clippering all around the tail, just make sure it is uniform all around that band. Okay, so now we're going to work on where this comes into the spine. Um, so we are going to create a V shape. Um, and the V shape is very important because if you don't create a V shape coming into the spine when the dog's tail set is up, uh, sometimes you'll see like a little roll or a little bunch of hair kind of looking uh, not too pretty. So we want to make sure we eliminate that. So first I go ahead and clipper um, and then I take my thinners. You can also get this done with a pair of uh, scissors or shears, um, but I'm showing you with my thinners because thinners, um, they allow you to make a little more, they're a little more forgivable uh, per se for blending. So it's a really good tool, especially if you're just learning how to do a poodle tail to go ahead and uh, actually blend that into the body. So now I've got my 10 inch curved super big boy shears and my metal comb. Um, now most metal combs, I mean some come uniform, but a lot of the metal combs come with two sides. So there'll be a coarse side and a fine side like the one here. Uh, so I want to make sure that my comb goes through the tail on both sides of the comb. So the coarse and the fine. Normally for poodles, I don't use the super fine side. And I'm lifting up here, making sure that um, I, all the bits right at the bottom, these can get really matted. Just careful, don't start yanking as you're um, combing. Make sure that you've brushed out thoroughly and then checking with your comb. Okay, so now step one basically is we wanna work on that bottom line. And the way that I've taught students always is picture a Christmas tree, sort of like an evergreen standing in a forest. Um, and you see the, where we did that little band is going to be the trunk of the tree, right? So standing in the forest. And what, what we want to do is cut the tail so it looks a little bit like that Christmas tree or that, you know, tree standing in a forest, a fir tree or an evergreen. Okay. And we're going to go all around the tail. Now this part usually takes a little bit of finessing. You're going to be going back to this part quite a bit during our tail adventure or any tail adventure that you have. But what we're doing is just basically setting the pattern. So we're setting the pattern, okay, making sure that nothing falls below the base of the tail. All right, so now we're going to work on the length of the tail. Um, so we've done that bottom part, right? What we want to do is go ahead and cut the length of the tail. Uh, this is a trick. We want to make sure that we know where the tailbone is. This is a trick that I learned a while ago. So again, make sure that when you're doing this twist, you know where that end of the tail is. And then with our scissors, we're going to go ahead and clip uh, just that piece right off. Okay, so brushing, that gives a nice natural beveled edge um, when we're doing this. And now we're going to start doing our splitting. So we're going to go ahead and split our tail left and right with our comb. And then we're going to go ahead and shape 
with our scissors. This is why for standard poodles, I like to use the 10 and a half inch uh, curved shears. Okay, and you'll see a lot of shaking when you're working on a tail. Uh, we want to go ahead and see where that uh, hair is laying. And this takes a lot of finessing. It is going to be a lot of work. And after I've split my left and right, I'm also going to go ahead and split my top and bottom. Okay, and do that same technique again, always finessing on the bottom a little bit and then going front to back, side to side, and we're gonna go ahead and keep doing this until it starts looking like the shape that we want. Now, Rosie is a pet on her 10th birthday. Uh, we talked about it and we decided to give her the gift of cutting her down short so she doesn't have, we used to keep her in all these crazy clips. And uh, so after her 10th birthday, we gave her the gift of being kept kind of short. Uh, so that's what I wanna also talk about is how long do you wanna keep your tail as you're trimming it. Um, again, as we're trimming it over and over, it's gonna take a little bit of finessing um, and making sure that we get those lines right. But basically the length of the tail is going to be in balance with their top knot, right? and also with their body, but know that you can have a shaved down body and if you have a dramatic top knot, you can keep this tail really nice and poofy, right? Really dramatic and still keep a short body. Um, so don't be uh, concerned if you do wanna keep your dog, uh, your poodle short and sporty, but have this type of a dramatic tail. That's kind of what we're doing with Rosie. She has a body cut, she has a lammy cut with like a two on her body. I scissor her legs now, um, but definitely wanna make sure that she has some character with a poofy tail, right, to match her top knot. Um, but again, not too big, not so dramatic that it would be like on this show. Okay, we're gonna keep going. Lots of scissoring, sorry folks, with poodles there is really no getting away without scissoring, but uh, for any groomers out there, this is the fun part of grooming. We do love scissoring, obviously uh, for our clients, it is more of a charge because it does take time, um, but it's something that is the art of what we do. We really enjoy doing it. Uh, so when we have an opportunity to go ahead and use our scissoring skills, uh, we really enjoy doing it. So, okay, we're finishing up, making sure that we are cutting the tippy tip of that tail nice and rounded. Oh, gosh, I think I could work on a tail for hours uh, if I had to, uh, to make it perfect, perfect. But there's a point in all of grooming where you say, okay, let's go ahead, take a look at it, see if it's in form. Apparently still have to scissor a little bit. Um, and making sure that all of the ends are taken care of here. All right, let's take a look at what we've got here. All right, Gina, put those scissors down. <laughs> it's the uh, groomer curse. You can't really put scissors down. Okay, I put them down. Doing good. Um, proud of myself. And oh, there's that happy tail. Again, bottle brush. So you see that? It's an oval tail shape, uh, nice for a short uh, lamb cut or a short body cut for your poodle guys. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, let us know what you think about our new format. Really appreciate thumbs up if you like this video. Guys, thank you so much for joining. We appreciate your time and we will see you soon.